for the invitation to participate in such event. I am really grateful to be here and present some of the work that we have been doing at Vitruvius Ferla Digital Education Library from Ishke UL. Uh, the topic for my presentation today is digital process for collaborative answers in architecture. I'm going to divide my presentation in four main parts. First, we are going to look at digital revolution and the digital fabrication contest. Second, we, I will move on to societal challenges, methodologies, talking about collaboration, co-creation, negotiation, participation, transformation, and fabrication. After that, after that, I will describe three projects developed at Finally, some conclusions. And at the end of my talk, I wish we will have the last, uh, I think it will be the last uh, 30 minutes. I will be happy to answer any question you may have. I will start with some general information on the context of digital fabrication. A number of books have been showing that society is changing fast. And architecture has, how, has followed that, that uh, changes. In nowadays, architecture is in the process of transformation confronted with technical changes. Digital revolution has transformed not only the process of architectural thinking, but also making. Today, the effective digital exchange of information is vital to architecture. Technology has revolutionized communication and spread of information. Jeremy Hefkins explores in his book how internet technology and renewable energy are emerging to create a powerful third industrial revolution. In a world that around 98% of planning, calculation, computation, and marketing industry is based on digital data. The big data, in turn, will be analyzed with advanced analyticals, transformed in the perspective algorithms, and programmed into automated uh, systems. To improve thermodynamic efficiency, dramatically increase product productivity, and reduce the marginal cost of products, and deliver full range goods and service to near zero across the entire economy. The economist prefers that digitalization of manufacturing will transform the way goods are made and change the politics of jobs too. The old way of making things involves taking lots of parts and screwing and holding them together. Now a product can be designed on a computer and printed on the 3D printing. Uh, which creates a solid object by building up successive layers of material. Digital design can be ticked in few mouse clicks. The 3D printer can run and tend it and can make many things which are too complex for traditional factory to handle. In time, these amazing machines may be able to make almost anything anywhere from your garage to an African village. In this context, digital culture has, has an impossible impact on contemporary architecture and urbanism. Computer aided design, digital simulation and fabrication has led to a new architectural forms as well as increasingly strategic approach to architecture. According to Antoine Picon, Digital culture in architecture may teach us how to live simultaneously among substance and the process that gives birth to them. As Karlovic says, the digital age has radically preferred the relationship between concept and production, creating a direct link between what can be conceived and what can be constructed. Digital media together with manufacturing advance is opening up new dimensions in architectural design. CAD CAM techniques, techniques and consequently direct programming gives architects total control over construction process. 
Additionally, the combination of rapid advance in digital tools with the emergency of social movements for collaboration can play a crucial role in solving some of the challenges presented to urban society. According to Neil Gershut, the creator of Fair Lab concept in MIT, fabrication laboratories are places to make almost anything anywhere. The next big thing is personal fabrication, the ability to design and produce our own products in our home with a machine that combines consumer electronics and industrial tools. Personal fabricators are about to universalize the world just as personal computers did a generation ago. Technology is empowering more people to create and disseminate designs. Professionals are using it to share their work with the world. Open design is changing the way designers are collaborating. Digital revolution has changed the ways in which architecture is conceived, built, mediated and used. This situation has led to a concept of customization. We can say that, that back to the future products become personal again. So some of the answers are coming from different uh, fields and methodologies. Sociology, architects, and management are linking concepts such as collaboration, co creation, negotiation, participation, inclusion, transformation, and fabrication in some collective construction. Social inclusion and internship are found on the close relation between population, industry, universities, and municipalities with a view to explore synergies that can allow future innovation process as well and as an application of solutions at different steps. The answers became progressively by interdisciplinary teams and the use of new digital technologies. <coughs> For this it is necessary to think about uh, collaborative systems. Social skills, relationships, practical and technological service that improve how people work jointly and successfully together, share responsibility and risk, to communicate needs, coordinate activities, share information, exchange know-how, build community or achieve a common objective. The most obvious advantage of cooperation is that this provides an efficient way of aggregation, specialized uh, expertise to solve complex and demanding problems. Collaborative design looks at how the process can be improved in such a way that cooperation, working together in a manner to such participant contributions to the design, merge from the process. The role of design is becoming more varied, part creator, part researcher, part facilitator, and part process manager. The second important principle related to societal challenge is co-creation and generative tools. According to these standards, all people are creative. Co-creation puts tools for creativity and communication in the hands of people will be served through design. It is only through, the, through collective thinking and acting that we will be able to use design to help address the challenges we are facing today. Tools and techniques that can be used in generative design, research, organized according to simple people-centered framework. People, what people say, what people do, what people make. A study for Gaking Tan shows that games can be defined as structured forms of playing. While play is a form of intensive, iterative, and cooperative engagement, today an increasing number of games are playing for serious purposes. Serious games, <coughs> such games, are simulating a real world event or process designed and played for the purpose of solving problems. As structured play, games run. Uh, on very clear and simple rules. 
and have identified ch challenges and interaction patterns to which players respond to reach predetermined goals. Today, an increasing number of games are playing for serious purposes. In the last decade, users' needs is not only the prerequisite for the process, but a matter of decision. There is a shift on perspective of Korea today that importance of participatory design to be spread accept, act, acceptance of principles of user participation in housing and rural development is the major achievement of society, social architecture. As a result, architecture began to respect <coughs> the diversity of individuals and aspirations in the plural society. Each process begins, begins with people as they are and moves them to, towards a better understanding of themselves on their alternatives. In this intensive transformation, the process presents both chance and opportunities for thinking and acting out city futures. According to a scene, design urban transformation evolving both fundamental concepts shift and radically innovative forms of practice. To fulfill the potential of the question, what can movement be, uh, requires that the synthesis, propositive thinking of creative fields be integrated with the critical inquiry of social science, as well as the long-term historical understanding of cities. Digital tools are part of everyday life of creators, and more and more innovative innovation in creative process is the result of computational logics. One of the most radical consequences of digital evolution is digital fabrication process. Computer-based methods lead to an increasing efficiency in architectural design. This demands that architects have to decide what machine and methods to use based on machine capacity. To achieve this goal, it is necessary to understand the production technologies, the use of CAM technologies as part of the production of physical models and prototypes is becoming increasingly common through processes such as computer numerical control, CNC, mining and rapid prototyping. In a very interesting study conducted with by Larry Sass shows a project that combines CAD technologies with CAD control machinery to build a whole house for computer models and pre-cutted layout sheets with a draw, with no draw or paper documents. The instant house is a prefabricated structure of play wood assembled solely with muscle and mallets without any nails, screws or glue. In this context, the Vitruvius Fab Lab emerged in 2011 in Ishkete, University Institute of Lisbon. The main goal is the exploratory development of innovative methods for creative and participatory collaboration design and fabrication. Digital fabrication laboratory aims to develop automatic techniques for producing architectural models, exploring model, modular building systems, innovative applications of materials, assist assistance to product design, computer graphics, and multimedia in, the trend, in a transdisciplinary context of participatory scope. Thus, we can affirm that digital fabrication laboratory supports social development through the materialization of ideas. Moving on, I would like to take a look to the third part of this presentation. We will describe three projects involved here at the Introduce Fab Lab Ishkete. To introduce the new paradigm in architecture, it is necessary to change the traditional view of design to a new view based on collective creativity and co-creation. In other words, it is necessary to work based on cognitive and transdisciplinary creative design. It is this context that is proposed in the Vitruvius Fab Lab a different architectural approach 
to digital technologies and social development, as we will see. In order to explore this new architectural sector challenge, in 2011, a multidisciplinary group of researchers proposed a living system discursive hall or shop to create three, a three, four, five meters acoustic panel structure to a coffee shop that would physically respond to movement, inter interacting directly and dialogue with the inhabitants, constantly reshaping their perception and minimizing acoustic problems of the space. This workshop emerged in a partnership with uh, FabLab EDP and uh, Renault 3D Port, uh, Portugal, with the support of Amoris, Williams and Falkerman companies. The process of developing a responsive hall was closely related to two, two logics, interaction and digital computing. <coughs> the workshop explored parametric patterns, tessellation, digital fabrication and materialization, and advanced interaction. <coughs> Inspired by the behavior of natural organism, the workshop explored the use of Rhino Grasshopper, Plugin, Firefly, and Arduino as creative and technical tools. The para parametric patterns tessellation allowed creating a parametric pattern based in the form finding and bottom up generative process. Digital fabrication used CAD CAM tools to simulate and prototype 3D interactive architectural solutions. The main scope was to go through all the life cycle of design, solution, digital to physical. <coughs> the participants organized in four different groups developed several design projects, circles and fixed pixel picture, supported by the pre-design parametric structure. Each core solution gave rise to a specific customized structure. In order to provide the basis of programming and open source resources, the workshop dedicates some time to microcontrol Arduino. The workshop leads the participants to create an animation movement that would engage the core. At the end, only a solution was full prototyped. The winner was for an eye parametric structure wave movement. Here are some pictures of the process. The next project I will talk about is uh, some, uh, a summer school, sustainable technologies and transdisciplinary future from collaborative design to digital fabrication. <coughs> that took place in each day in July 2013. The challenge was to discuss design and fabricate a sustainable prototypes for the specific social groups that pass by, use or live near the shoreline of two Lisbon waterfront territories, Cais do Sudre in the North Bank or Tejo River and Casillas in the South Bank. The goal was to encourage and change the sustainable creation in these contests by simulating participants from <coughs> diverse disciplinary and professional areas to generative new socio-technical debates and concrete artifacts that could meet citizen needs and aspirations. Through the integration of both technical and social fields in an experimentation and learning model, participants from multiple areas discovered how to address and intangible these new challenges within an innovative transdisciplinary environment of collective thinking and acting. From generative design and ethical, ethical debates to, to rapid prototyping and open production exercise, STTF participants were encouraged to develop a new set of skills to deal with subjects such as 3D simulation, computer aided manufacturing, new sustainable materials, adapt and interactive systems, participatory innovation, 
appropriated and developed of sensitive, sensitive artifacts, Societ societal implications of technology and critical science and technology studies. At the interdisciplinary teams of four and five members were assigned of a different citizen groups, commuters, cyclists, fishermen, homeless, sailors, wheat vendors, teenagers and tourists and received a contest and material kit to making their prototypes during SDF. The, the commuters team created a device named Public Transistance the Transits. Grow, grow your community, share your point of view, get to know the others. The device allows the commuter to reflect upon current social, environment, cultural and economic issues, even as the process creating and feeling part of either community of commuters. The cyclist team developed a cool hot spot prototype, a cooling system that provides cyclists with the means to interconnect and share perspectives and the experience primarily around their activity in this specific public space. The fisherman, the fisherman team created the I, I am here. This objective allows the fishermen of Lisbon, Kaji Sudre, Sudre, to signal their presence at a specific fishman spot by swifting the small lights. The same legal voice of the homeless projects aims to create a platform that provides a public voice for homeless. Saint Brick is a terminal for homeless users to access to Saint Brick Twitter account. From here, they may write tweets that everyone can read. The tweets are also posted online and therefore are accessible from anywhere in the world. Como é is a simple digital arcade sketch installation that creates a place for Lisbon team, teams to share their hopes, dreams and visions for themselves and for Tijer Tijer Tiber on the front. The project draws a city rich history of street media and area, youth preferred modes of public expression and the annual pattern. The last project is Art Medieval Project. This is part of Lisbon BIPZIP, Priority Innovation Neighborhood or Priority Innovation Area program and promotes community participation in public space of the target communities. The intersection of technology development with sustainable as rich complex times. Imagine and producing sustainable technologies lies now on the ability of technical and social demands to emerge their own concerns and solutions with no preconception. Our collective future depends upon this parallel change. The intervention areas of this process are four squares and a wall of bag and Marquês de Bransky in Marvilla, with the objective of their re refreshment and the uh, intervention of non-invasive specific uh, urban equipment and the magic components in this space. The project was involved in several stages involving participatory process. In cooperation with the neighborhoods, people was possible to discuss the reality of the territory based on this standard participatory methodology. This phase involved around 30 inhabitants addressed to all activities. The final solutions were discussed with all the project, the project patterns. Digital fabrication was used to prototype the models of the urban furniture design. The models were filled, filled with uh, concrete. And the final solution was put, was put in the squares. So, 
they are completely skeptical. I, and I will use the, uh, the words of Chen Gil, the design of place for sitting and standing, and their primitive location can have a direct influence on the opportunities of for conversation. Life between buildings can be supported further if opportunities for staying outdoors are offered. After all this, I, I will conclude with two, two words, with the words of Neil Gersfield and uh, Lee Sanders. The first is, a new digital revolution is coming. This time it is fabrication. It draws on the same assignments that lead to the early digitalization of communication <coughs> and communication. But now, what is being programmed is the physical rather than the virtual one. Digital fabrication will allow individuals to design and produce tangible objects and demand wherever they need them. We spread access to this technology will change traditional models of business and education. Co-create the future through new solutions that have the potential to ensure sustainable participatory governance, openness and transparency in policies and the respect of the rules of law and social cohesion. This process could lead to more inclusive, collaborative and participative societies via greater engagement of all involved parts. That brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.